Into a pile of pine needles. Uh, over. Keep getting confused by this fast travel thing. Not the fast travel, the map thing. You, know, you can switch it in like regions and stuff, and it's really weird. Maybe I should go hunting here. I don't have any snares or anything. Oh well, if I see a deer of some sort, I'll kill it. Other than that, don't really have much of anything to attract animals and hunt. Hunt proper, lack. Can't really hunt all proper, lack. Okay, if I see an animal, I'm going crazy and I'm gonna shoot him. Gonna shoot him. Mm hmm. Okay, come on. That will be good. What? What was that? I don't think there was anything. I'm getting kind of hungry, too. I'll be glad to finish this and go get some food, and then I probably won't play this game for a day or a few hours. Who knows? No one ever knows, especially not me. Because I'm a kitty cat. Arg? What in the world? Hello, sir. Oh, or ma'am, sorry. <laughs> Called you sir. I couldn't really hear the screams. You all right? What do you think? Oh, love interest. How did this happen? Poachers in the woods. I asked them to leave. This was their answer. Come on. We need to get that armor. What are the men who did this? They can wait. Your wound cannot. Man, look at him carrying her to safety. You'd be able to make it to the house. Yes. I think the ball took only flesh. And what is your name? Miriam. Do you live nearby? Uh, I, I don't have a home per se. I took to the frontier when I was a young girl. I've made my life out here ever since. I'm living where the land makes it easiest. Not a common choice for a woman of the colony. No, it's, it's not. But truth be told, it was this. Kana, what are you doing? Those poachers need to be stopped. Saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that, and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it. <laughs> Gotta get familiar with the rope dart, I do. I haven't really used it much. Oh, bunny rabbit! Oh! I just killed it with a rope dart! I don't know if a stabbing motion like that is necessarily uh, um, necessary. Is very necessary for that kind of animal. I think that's more for like a big deer or something like that. But that little rabbit just got the full brunt of that stab, man. Poor thing. And how far away are these jerks? Ah. Poachers, eh? Yep, I've got it. Okay, well, look at that. How do you do the thing that they showed in the trailers where you string them up? There it is, right there. Oh, man.
I'm gonna take him out with my bow. Mind a bogan. Beautiful. Oh, there's more poachers now? What in the world? Hey, beaver. Yep, let me just gut this beaver quick. Stupid jerk. Yeah, I just got some beaver teeth. Get my arrows back. <laughs> No, no, get out of there. Come on, Connor. Come on, man, you know better. Hey. Where are you, fellas? Shooting strangers in the forest, is that common hunting practice where you come from? No. I spare me. Go. Tell the friends you have left what happened here. Yeah, look at that. He just foosh rode his meow. Boost rode his meow. Man, I wish I was as cool as Connor. Wish I was as cool as Connor. Him and his cool skills and his cool outfit and his cool country here. His. I don't remember Massachusetts looking at anything, or Maine looking, New Hampshire looking at anything like this. Let's go back inside. Hello, everyone. Connor's home. Here's Connor. Thank you, Achilles. That's gonna be a love interest. Why did those men attack you? It's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself, and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land. But I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept. Okay. Okay, so Miriam is going to uh, give us some furs, goods, and honey goods. Goods. Cats. Meow. Okay, where do I go? Sent me all the way down here. Yeah, I need to go all the way back here. Oh, come on, man. Why does it do that to me? I guess it's not that far. I guess it felt farther than it was. Nice! Okay, so the homestead is doing quite swimmingly, it is. Quite swimmingly indeed. Uh, it doesn't look like he's outside of the house. It looks like he's outside of the house. Where in the world am I supposed to be going right now? What in the world? Oh, it's on the cliff still. I thought it was off the cliff in the water. And I was like, what? Hello, sir. It is done. Johnson is dead? No. He retreated when we destroyed the team. You had to have some new scheme, I'm sure. You should have killed him. There was no need. Time will tell if you speak the truth. Time will tell. Return again! Return again! Ganon Dokon. Why are you here? Has something happened? William Johnson has returned with all the money required to buy our land. He meets with the elders as we speak. I have begged him to resist, but I fear he shall have his way unless you intervene. How is this possible? We destroyed the tea. The Templars are nothing if not resourceful. You should have heeded my warning. Please, 
You have to stop him. Of course. Can you tell me where they're meeting? Here we go. Now Connor understands. Yep, that hatchet's still buried, it is. That hatchet is still buried. Oh, man. Let's go all the way down here into the frontier. Yeah. Yes, fast travel. Fast travel. We're a fast traveling, we are. We're going to go and speak with. An, or kill him. We're just going to kill him. Templars are nothing but, as, but if resourceful, they will find their ways. They will find their way. Oh, man. See if I need the. To... Oh, it's not too far at all. Look at that. Nice. Okay, let's go around here. Yeah, I'm trying to get situated on my chair. Let's go down to my village or what? What's going on here? Hostile negotiations. Okay. Yeah, there's pine cones right there. Is this sneaky? Hey, you can't come out here, buddy. Go the other way. Go the other way. Don't look out this way. It's not going to let me loot and get my arrow back. I hear sirens. I was going to say, is that in game? <laughs> I'm definitely climbing up the ravine here compared to the, the other way. This is going to be a cakewalk, hopefully. way to go. Aha! I well, didn't either eel feather. There's gotta be a way I'm supposed to go here. supposed to go yeah. I guess I'm supposed to go this way well I don't even know if I'm going the right way now aha Thank you, good sir. Oh crap.
Oh, yeah, you can't, you can't fusro meow me, buddy. I need my arrow back, sir. Oh, and I got poison darts, too. Just making sure I've got a free path here. Okay, don't see me, don't see me. Well, that guy's gonna give up, hopefully. No, he saw me. Oh great, there's more guys. Come here, come here, come on. Oh, there he went. Beautiful, beautiful. I guess I thought the undetected thing was kind of a must have. But alas, it was not. Yes, yes. Have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to protect us, then give us arms, muskets and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. We remember, Stanways. We remember you moved the borders. Even today your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. Yes. What a jerk. Boom! Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Oh no. What have you done? Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye. That we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Are that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh, sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. This is the way of the world. In time, They'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved Wall. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. I... because they would not listen. And so... it seems... neither will you. Okay. I almost knew the Hagum, sir. I'm the Hia, you miss Khan as is a good hatchet. Foos. Okay, what, what's going on here? Oh, no. I'm over. 
Fusro Meow, this guy. Ugh. Ugh. Let me get out of here. Make for the cliffs, Connor! Oh, crap. Oh, I thought there was a... Okay, yeah. <laughs> I thought there was a thing to jump to there. There was, but it was to the right. Thanks, you stupid jerk birds. Stupid birds. They're like, oh, well, let's... Uh... From a swarm dive to escape. Okay, come on, Connor. I'm gonna get you out of here. Oh man. Hey, there we go. I just finished the last sequence. Sweet! I heard sequence six. Nice. Action completed. I've just taken out the first Templar. Taken out the first Templar, so now we move on to the other Templars. Wait, was that the first Templar? I don't even know. Creature cats. William Johnson is dead, and with him, the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. <clears throat> Okay, well, there you go. The hatchet is still buried. War is still going. Until every one last, every last one of them is dead. Including my father. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start, but to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father. I know. Hey, you speak the words, but do you believe them? Seems we've company. Is it the girl? Oh no, it's just a letter. What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Russians <laughs> up to something. Go to lost. Paul Revere. Yes, the British are coming. The British are coming. Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? <laughs> yeah, he Revere just changed his... If you'd like, I can... Okay, well. Connor's pretty much just dead set on slaughtering every one of these Templars pretty quickly. Okay, I'm going to take another break. Ugh. This one probably a lot longer than the other one. Uh, but anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching Assassin's Creed 3. <sighs>